News at 5, Kwame Kilpatrick's latest fight to get out of prison. The ex-mayor insists he was treated unfairly by a jury or even his own lawyer. 7 investigator Ross Jones is live in the newsroom. Ross, what's the mayor saying now? Dave Glenda, it is a lot of what he has said before. Kilpatrick has 24 years remaining in his prison sentence. He has nothing but time on his hands. So even though this latest motion is a long shot, the former mayor knows he has nothing to lose. Kilpatrick's latest legal Hail Mary is a 22-page motion to have his 28-year prison sentence vacated. He was convicted of running a criminal enterprise out of City Hall, including rigging contracts and accepting bribes. But in his motion, Kilpatrick claims that none of what he was convicted of could be considered an official act as mayor, and therefore, he may have been convicted for conduct that was not unlawful. And even though scores of witnesses testified they felt pressured to lavish Kilpatrick with cash and gifts or fear losing their city business, the former mayor sees it quite differently from prison. There was no pay to play, nor any evidence to suggest it, he wrote. The theater surrounding the trial created an environment of unfairness and injustice. This is just Kilpatrick's latest legal salvo at freeing himself from prison. In 2015, the Court of Appeals denied his request to rehear the case, and last year, the U.S. Supreme Court did too. And until January of this year, he and his family members tried to secure a pardon from President Obama that never came. Now, Kilpatrick also claims he received ineffective counsel during trial, that he was forced to pay too much in restitution, and that he currently has less than a dollar in his prison bank account. Kilpatrick isn't said to be released until the year 2041. Glenda. All right, Ross, thanks so much.